Hi guys, it is Monday, February 10th, and holy crap, it's cold in Edmonton. Oh my god. It is, with the wind chill, it is minus 40 degrees Celsius, which for my Fahrenheit loving friends is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's freaking cold. So my parents and grandparents who are currently very, very south and warm, I hate you, but love is in the air is here. Well, technically it was here on Saturday, but no, 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 it actually started today. Yes, okay. So I'm actually doing this somewhat on time. Oh Lord. Thunder Fury, bless the blade of the wind seeker again. It is full of chat. Oh, right, I have my thing up. You guys can't see. Okay, anyway, trade chat's always hysterical. So, um, the achievement is here. And you need to do most of these. You don't have to do all of these. Um, so we're just, like, we're only going to go through the ones that you get from doing the achievement. And tomorrow I will do the dungeon and show you guys how to do that. So the meta is called Fool for Love. And you need all of these. You used to need all the other ones too, but they nixed it. Goodness. So the first one is charming, which is to create 12 lovely charm bracelets. So what you need to do, um, I should note that uh, the vendors for this achievement are in every major city, but the quests and all of that, you will probably have better luck going to the main cities for. Um, again, there are a couple exceptions, but you're going to go outside the auction house in your main city, so Ogremar or Stormwind, and you're going to grab everything mainly from either Petal Feet, Queeky, Queeky Petal Feet, or the Lovely Merchant. Um, and no. the... It's the real. This one. Time is money, friend! Come on. Right back. Where is it? Right up. Hmm. Okay. Have a good one. So there is another daily that should show up here somewhere. Um, to get the, uh, I should have the We must have to do a different one first. Time is money, friend. Anyway, so. Be good. Talk to me. What you need to do <laughs> is you need to talk to this guy. Once you've done the quest chain, you're going to grab the lovely charm collector's kit. And once you do that, <clears throat> um, you go and kill stuff. And it has to, it works like the grizzly tokens do for, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Dark Moon Fair, but um, you don't have to loot them. They just show up. And as soon as you get 10, you can make a bracelet. And you use the bracelets to hand into the various faction leaders, and you do that one. Um, that daily, that daily comes in the respective city. So if you're giving it to Tyrant, you need to go to Darnassus. If you're giving it to Bronzebeard, you need to go to Ironforge, etc. So um, you need to get the kit, and then you just have to kill stuff that's in your level range. So anything, if you are level 90, anything level 86 and up will do. If you are not, um, if you are 85 or lower, you need to kill stuff in Kata areas. Um, dungeons do count, and obviously you want to do something where it's a lower level so you can kill them quickly. So if you just run through uh, normal dungeons, or if you do heroic dungeons constantly, those will work. Um, flirt, with, uh, flirt with Disaster is the next one, and that is to get completely smashed, put on your best perfume, throw a handful of row petals on either Shraz or Jeremiah Payson if you're Horde, and then kiss him, you'll regret it in the morning. So um, there's a specific order you need to do this in. You need to, so if you are Alliance, you need to go to Iron Forge and find Straz the, the pie vendor. He's running around the Great Forge in the middle. Um, Horde, find Jeremiah Payson. He's the cockroach vendor and he is dead center in Undercity. And you need to buy a handful of uh, rose petals, which you buy from the vendor for two tokens for a stack of five and the perfume you buy for one with one token for a stack of five please note you must wear the perfume cologne will not work so you can buy perfume or cologne you need to buy the perfume for this one um and you're going to go up to him you're going to be completely smashed so get completely smashed let the thing come up when you drink um put on the perfume then put on the perfume then throw the rose petals on him and then slash kiss him that's the only way you'll get the achievement. Uh, Dangerous Love is the daily called Crushing the Crown. 
um, and you need to do, I believe, all the other dailies and have the main quest line completed. And all you have to do is go to, um, if you're level 81 and higher, you go to Aldum and you protect a caravan, you blow up a caravan, and you kill five enemies, and that's it. It's in a specific area, they port you there. Um, and that is there, that's this one, the uh, dangerous level one, so stopping the plot. Um, Nation of Adoration. So this is the one where I said you have to create a lovely charm bracelet, do the quest for each alliance capital. So um, for alliance, it would be Exodar, Stormwind, Iron Forge, and Darnassus. Horde, it would be Thunder Bluff, Ender City, Ogremar, and uh, Silverman. And it starts with the pedal feet um, quest giver uh, in the respective city for that leader. The next one is Sweet Tooth. So you need to go to the vendor. So you need, uh, so you need to eat each of the four candies listed below. Um, and I believe they are soul bound. So it is in your best interest um, to do this very carefully. Um, you need to buy the box of chocolates. You get it's ten love tokens per box, and you'll get a couple in the box. You uh, you may not get all four, um, so you'll probably have to buy a couple. But the good news is, from doing dailies and quests and random things, you will constantly get love tokens. So I'm actually gonna go and find out how you get love tokens here. Do do. -do. Okay, so you do daily quests. And if you com if you defeat the heart if you defeat Apothecary Hummel in the daily, you get five or ten, and so that comes inside the heart shape box. Um, okay, so that's how you do that one. Then you need to just eat all four of them. Um, and then the next one is my love is like a red red rose. So you need to obtain either a bouquet of red or ebon roses, and you can't buy these. They drop off of. Um, specific bosses in Wrath of Lich King and Kata dungeons, normal or heroic, um, but they do not drop off of mob. Um, this is the Pandaria uh, bosses. So I'm going to tell you which ones for each, and I'm just getting this off of Wowhead, so if you guys um, are not sure, this is how you, <coughs> that's where I'm getting it. So the Ebon Roses um, drops, so it says it drops in both normal and heroic. You get either off of the Echo of Sylvanas in End Time, uh, Admiral, which is a random one, so that one's not guaranteed. You can get it off of Admiral Rip Snarl in Dead Mines, um, Lord Godfrey in Shadowfang Keep, Prince Keliseth in Utgard Keep, Maiden of Grief in Hall of Stone, and Prince Taldoram in Ankahet, and then the Bouquet of Red Roses um, it has a better chance to drop. So it works kind of like the green hat and the red hat. So one's a bit more rare than the other. Um, you can get it off of Sira Dawnslayer in Hour of Twilight, Korla Head of Twilight in Black Rock Caverns, uh, High Priestess Azil in the Stone Core, Draga Shadowburner in Grim Batol, Echo of J9 End Time, that's another random one, um, Adderall Rip Snarl will drop it in Dead Minds, Lord Godfrey will drop it in Shadowfang Keep, Prince Kaliseth will drop it in Utgard Keep, Maiden of Grief in Halls of Stone, and Prince Talderam in Ankahat. So the Wrath ones are all the same, um, but the Horde ones are, the, uh, Cata ones are a little bit different. So that's how you get those. Shafted. Um, shafted is the next one. You need to shoot 10 players with the silver shafted arrow. You pay five tokens for five. You'll need 10 total. And you need to make sure that the player does not have a um, non combat pet out or it will shoot them instead. So make sure that they don't have a. If they're a hunter, make sure they don't have a pet out. And if they are any other character, including hunters, make sure they don't have a companion out. Um, but you just have to click it. It's an instant cast. I don't think you, I don't really think there's a cooldown, but it shouldn't take you very long. Um, lonely. This one's a bit tricky. So you need to first have the Buttermilk Delight, which is one of the candies you will get from Sweet Tooth. And you need to get a Romantic Picnic Basket, which is 10 tokens. And you, you need to do it in this order. This is a very specific order. If you do anything out of order, you will not get the achievement. So um, go to Dalaran place the piston piston basket and sit next to it then either go and trade or yell into the city or take someone in your party from you or take a friend with you whatever and then wait until they sit down and then eventually you have to wait a bit um, hearts will hop, pop up over your heads and as soon as the heart pops up then you can eat the candy um, or the chocolate or whatever you call it um, and it does take a bit of time but make sure you do it in that order if you eat the chocolate too early um, the buff isn't, or it, it doesn't work, and so you'll waste your chocolate kind of thing. 
Uh, the next one is the Rocket's Pink Glare. Uh, this works just like the Firecracker one that I showed you for Lunar Festival. So put it on your action bar and press it, spam pressing that and spam clicking on the ground and it'll go off really, really quickly. Um, you need 10 of them and they are five for five tokens from the lovely merchant. Fistful of Love, you need to use a handful of rose petals on each of the race class combinations below. And again, the rose petals are, where are they here? Um, two love tokens for five. So you'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you'll need 11, so you'll need three minimum three stacks, or, well, no, two stacks if you still have them tied over from the other one, the other daily. Um, and again, my advice to you is always the same. Go to a battleground, go to whatever the current PvP zone is, so um, you could do it in Wintergrass or Tolbarad, um, Timeless Isle, Isle of uh, Thunder, etc., and uh, the Shatrath slash Dalaran areas as well. Those are kind of dead now because it's no longer required, but any I, any place where there's either lots of PvP or it's like the new end zone for content um, that both factions will be at, that's where you want to go. Okay, and the next one is Be Mine, which is to eat the eight bag of candies, heart candies listed below. So the bag of candies you buy for two tokens, it has ten charges, but you will get duplicates. So you will not necessarily get all eight from one bag, but they are not sold out and they only have to be eaten, not found. So you can get these on the auction house and they're generally pretty cheap. And the last one, I pitied the fool. You need to pity the love fool in the location specified below. So you buy the love fool for 10 tokens from the lovely vendor. Um, you'll need five. So it's kind of a token sink. Um, do this one last. Or, well, either do it last or do it for I would actually, no, I would say do it first because then you get the big sink out of the way. Um, or if you have, if you're doing this with someone else who doesn't have it, have them come with you and they can buy it. So the first one you're going to need to do is Winter Grasp. Um, it's in Northrend. It's a no-fly zone if it's in progress or if the other faction holds it. But if it's not currently in progress and your faction holds it, or if you fly high enough, you are good. Um, and all you need to do is put it down click the item, you put it down, and then you click on him, target him, and then just slash pity, and you'll get the credit. Um, the Arathi Basin Blacksmith, it is a, Arathi Basin is a battleground, the Blacksmith is the one dead center. Um, where's my app? This one, are you, ah, go away, this one. Let's open this, and we'll leave this over here. Battleground maps, Arathi Basin. Okay, so it's the one dead center here. Alliance starts here, Horde starts here. This is Stables, this is Farm, this is Lumber Mill, this is Gold Mines, and this is Blacksmith. Okay. Um, Nax or Miss, you just have to go inside the raid. Um, you don't have to do anything but actually go inside the portal. There is a thing going on on Wowhead and sometimes in chat about how you only need to go to the meeting stone. No, go inside the raid. You don't need a raid group anymore since they changed it for old con for people to run old content and get the pets. Just pop in the portal. You don't have to go in anywhere. There are no enemies right near the entrance. Put it down, pity him, then you can leave. And that's it. Same goes for Calling of Stratholm. That is a dungeon in Caverns of Time. The quickest way to get there. Um, if you're already in Dalaran, is to take the portal to Caverns of Time. If you are in, let's say, Stormwind or... Well, if you're in Stormwind, otherwise you can just take the portal to Dalaran. Um, take the portal to Aldum and fly east. Or Orgrimmar, I guess. Take the portal to Aldum and then just fly east. Um, and then the Gurubashi Arena is in Stranglethorn. Oh, that's too many clicks. And it is in the cape, so the bottom half. And you just need to fly into the dead center. It's usually pretty dead. Just go to the center of it and um, the map, the mini-map area area will change. So we're here, it says Trade District. This should say um, Gurubashi Arena. You can't, you need to be directly inside of it. You can't just be floating on the outside of it or on the outskirts. You need to be right inside of it. Again, it's usually pretty dead, except at uh, 3 o'clock server time, because there's a daily that goes there for an achievement. Or there's a quest that happens there, an event for an achievement. So maybe avoid that time if you're a lower level. But other than that, just fly there, put it down, pay the love fool, and you're done. And that is it, guys. So, doing this will net you, just those achievements will net you, hmm, let's see here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, they're all 10, they're all 10. Okay, and 
Well, that's. We'll net you 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 120 achievement points plus the 10. So 130 achievement points. Um, you will get the title of The Love Fool. And just a quick kind of comment here. If we uh, <coughs> open up Atlas Loot and World Events and close. Uh, those in the air. Okay. So you have a chance to get the Toxic Wasteland Companion Pet. It's one of two pets that you can get. This one only drops off of the. Uh, uh, sorry, caffeine hasn't hit it in. This one only drops off the boss. Um, they're usually pretty cheap, like a hundred gold or maybe two hundred gold um, when it's n when it's on when it's during Love Is in the Air. So if you can't get a drop, buy it during Love Is in the Air, and that would be my suggestion if it doesn't get if you can't get it. And then if you do get it and you already have one, hold on to it and sell it in like August or September, and the prices will skyrocket to like five or six hundred gold. Usually, depending on your server, obviously, but usually. Um, this is just a random item. Um, and then this is the mount. It's the big love rocket. Keep your jokes to yourself. Um, Forever Lonely Rose. Just a couple of vanity items. And then these necklaces. Yeah, so they're, they don't, they haven't really changed the items. If it doesn't change in an expansion, they don't really change it, which I wish they would update it every time it comes around, but I guess they have better stuff to do. Um, so that's what comes off of the boss, and again, I will show you the dungeon tomorrow. The vendors drop these, so there's the Swift Lovebird, which you need 270 tokens of mine. I don't have that, so I might have to go for that. Um, the True Silver Shafted Arrow is another pet for 40 tokens, and etc. All of this, perfume and cologne, blah, blah, blah. And miscellaneous, so... Um, there's uh, two other achievements that are not required, but will give you achievement points. We'll, I guess I'll go over these pretty quick. Um, so get the pet and then open a lovely dress box and receive the lovely black dress. The lovely black dress is the most rare um, and you get an achievement for it. Lovely luck is on your side, but that's it. Um, this is what drops in the dinner suit box. These are all the candies. These are all the box of chocolates, etc. So that is it guys. Um, Hope you found that helpful. I'm going to go try and farm for the lovebird and the rocket because that's what I do. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.